Uh, beautiful people, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? Um, I just wanted to say thank you guys for all of your birthday wishes. It means the world to me and for also your love and support. Thank you. I read all of your comments and even though I can't uh, respond to all of them, I do read them and I do appreciate them. They give me the courage and the strength to keep doing this. So, all right. I love you. Cheers. Hello ladies, Sherry here from the Flex Giving Crew. How's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine reading uh, for June 28th until July the 6th. So I'm using my cards for clarifiers and the John Horn deck for, oh wow, sh throw shocker at the bottom. Um, the throw shocker showed up three, or sorry, two times in the reading uh, for the Twin Flame. It was on your side. Uh, and then it showed up once in the resisting position for the masculine. So uh, the throat chakra was in the future position for the feminine. So I don't know if um, communication might be coming in or if truths need to be spoken. Okay, so... Um, oh, and I just wanted to mention also, um, some of you beautiful ladies have reached out to me on Facebook. Um, so let me know if you want me to add you to my private Facebook group as well, No Fucks Given. This is where it all began. Uh, I started making these videos, uh, tarot card videos for that group. Um, and it just kind of took off on its own. So yeah, let me know if you desire to be added. Um, and not give any fucks. Alright, so um, I'm going to be doing a divine... Actually, you know what? I'm going to do a Celtic wing for you guys. I did a split divine partnership for the masculine, so let's switch it up a little bit. So we'll do a Celtic wing beginning with the present position. Wow! <laughs> okay, throat chakra. So let's see what else comes with it. Uh, star card, queen of no fucks given. Oh my god, the synchronies, synchronicities and the four of pentacles. Um, so, past position. This is healing energy. This also means that wish has been granted. Um, so, wish granted. And I see empowerment here with the queen. So, either you've come into your strength and ability to express yourself uh, fully without fear. Uh, could be one. Or it means that you've been through a very difficult time. Um, you've healed your heart, you've let go of a lot of things, um, and Spirit is saying that the worst is over now, so you've healed from that, and you feel like you're, you know, being rained down by abundance and reward on some level, um, so that could, like I said, mean communication with your Divine Masculine, um, or you're listening to your internal voice, uh, to guide you. So the Queen of Wands here, Queen of Fire. Um, this represents someone who's very charismatic, who is the center of attention, a free spirit, uh, a leader as well, very empowered feminine energy. So the feminine is feeling very strong. Four of Pentacles, future position. So the masculine got this on his side of the reading. And what I was feeling from that um, the confirmation card that came along with it. Oh my god. I totally can't remember. Oh yeah, it was Inner Voice. Yeah. I think it was, yeah, Inner Voice, I believe. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't remember. <laughs> my birthday yesterday and I'm like suddenly senile. Okay, so um, anyway. The, what I was reading from this card is that he becomes open. Um... He's no longer closed off. Oh, that's what it was, the chariot. I pulled the chariot for this card. Uh, so in the Osho Zen, it talks about awareness, burning away the veil, um, and starting to, to see things. So what I felt from that was an opening. Okay, now, if this is your energy, this could be you closing yourself off um, to communication or... Um, Yeah, I don't know. You know what? I'm going to pull another Osho Zen card for that, for Pentacles. See what it means. 
because it showed up in the future position for the masculine, and here it's in the future again. So, spirit is definitely trying to tell us something. Wow, isolation. Three of swords is related to that four of pentacles. Hmm. Sorry, I should have just looked for the page number. My bad. Oh, there we go. Okay. In our society, men in particular have been taught not to cry, to put a brave face on when on things when it get bleh. Let me start again. In our society, men in particular have been taught not to cry, to put on a brave face on things when they get hurt and not show that they are in pain. But women can fall into this trap too. And all of us at one time or another might feel that the only way to survive is to close off our feelings and emotions so we can't get hurt again. Wow. So this is a feminine becoming closed off because they don't want to hurt. Um, so if our pain is particularly deep, we might even try to hide it from ourselves. This can make us frozen, rigid, because deep down we know that one small break in the ice will free the hurt to start circulating through again. The rainbow-colored tears on this person's face holds a key to breaking out of this isolation. The tears and the and only the tears have the power to melt the ice. It's okay to cry, and there's no reason to feel ashamed for your tears. Crying helps us let go of the pain, allows us to be gentle with ourselves, and finally help us heal. So, we got healing energy here, empowerment, and it's almost like a brave face that I'm seeing here, because beneath the surface there's pain, and there is an instinct to to close yourself off. So, you know, in a way, this could be the feminine really stepping into this healing mode um, and feeling the pain or the emotions that, you know, that have been kept below the surface. Um, or this could also be a masculine energy expressing himself, opening up his heart, you know, becoming unclosed and expressing the way he feels, you know, his heartbreak, his loss. Um, so yeah, I see communication is healing, opening up. Uh, foundation, chariot again, triumph. Um, so the chariot has showed up twice on the masculine side, or three times even, I think. Um, so the foundation is movement forward. It is empowerment. It is um, your exertion of your power onto the world and that's very cool because that was the theme of the Divine Feminine last week was that masculine, you know, empowerment. Sorry, the Divine, sorry, yeah, the Divine Feminine reading last week was them taking on the masculine qualities. Um, so here we have that. Success, triumph. You've overcome some obstacles. You've taken control of your life. And that's why we see that Queen of Wands. Heart Chakra. Nine of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. So the Heart Chakra is coming in the past position. So this is, you know, um, unconditional love. You felt this deep love. And that's what moved you forward. The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior, so obstacles were overcome, but there's a sense that you were beaten down during this process, um, but you continued to fight the good fight. The Queen of Swords is in the future position. Now, the Queen of Swords, I think, was in the past position for the masculine, and what, what, what I was getting from that was a sense of, you know, a karmic relationship um, that, you know, emotionally detached uh, ice queen who uses cutting words um, so you know this could also represent the same kind of energy you dealing with a karmic partnership or relationship it doesn't have to be masculine or feminine um, 
this could also represent an air sign but this could be also you sh becoming emotional and emotion less um, especially with the three of swords there so it's like you've detached yourself emotionally because of this pain um, you know your heart chakra was open there was a sixth sense of, of triumph and victory but then again you know that it came with a great deal of um, loss um, but it could also mean empowerment as well you know spiritual strength the John Holland deck is um, you got the John Holland card in the twin flame reading in the past position so that was spiritual strength um, but I'm not really feeling it with the Queen of Swords here it's like some truths were spoken or some things were said that were cutting um, some truths were realized she sees through bullshit uh, so the, if this is a feminine energy there was detachment um, and which gave you power is what I'm seeing here however that pain might creep up on you again if you're not fully dealing with the situation or if you feel a desire oops, to close off okay so past position two of wands the waiting game um, so this represents making a decision in the past that had to do with you know going on this spiritual journey on this spiritual quest um, but it's also an expansion of the mind seeing a different life possible high priest tower and the three of pentacles so high priest could represent the divine masculine in his 5d form in a spiritual form that 5d connection um, or it could be you the divine feminine stepping into this you know powerful role as a spiritual leader um, making the decision to share your wisdom and your knowledge and guide others out of the darkness um, so here we got crown chakra activation okay so it is attainment of enlightenment and connection to source the tower comes in in the present position so this is um, your old life crumbling down you know anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down so this is just destruction of your old reality so that really shows that work that you did to get past and move beyond that obstacle um, and it required some emotional detachment but ultimately you are healing from that you are empowered okay so um, this tower card was a good thing it allowed a new foundation to be built on it so this three of pentacles represents just that firm foundation um, the masculine got this a couple times as well so this is a feeling of safety and security and groundedness so there what I'm seeing here is there may have been a connection with your divine masculine spiritual connection or a connection with a leader um, and it shook your reality it made you um, have realizations epiphanies you know um, um, it was awakening moment so it you know shattered your reality and from that this you know new beginning but there's a sense that there's a weight that it took some time for you to start seeing the results of this spiritual journey okay so hopes and fears oh wow crown chakra beautiful so you desire to continue you know being a spiritual leader um, but also really um, connect not only with yourself but with source the collective um, you know tap into creative um, ideas that's what the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly creative so let's see what else five of Pentacles seven of Wands and five of Wands so five of Pentacles past position the masculine kept getting this card but this is you releasing yourself from an attachment uh, but it is also feeling being left out in the cold um, so it is a financial loss or hardship of some kind so it's obviously related to this four of Pentacles the four has now 
progressed to a five of pentacles. Um, so what I'm seeing here is a release, an ending of some form, whether it be an ending to open up or an ending in terms of actually feeling emotions that you've been um, repressing on some level. Um, so this energy comes back, and, you know, this is what you hope is to be released from this um, and you will be. It's happening now. Um, so there's also an understanding here that if you want your freedom, um, you will need to, um, there will be a loss on some level, right? Um, so if this, if you're leaving a karmic relationship, uh, that disconnect, um, will make you feel, um, a little imbalanced because you don't have that partnership anymore, that shared financial you know, long-term safety, but you will gain your freedom. You will be doing what you desire. Um, you are very powerful. You can stand on your own. You don't need the material world um, to make you feel like you are um, you. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to find yourself out there. You find yourself within your, your spiritual connection. The Seven of Wands, you want to be able to express yourself um, and find that power um, and continue to hold on to that power. So, Or you're trying to find courage and strength in, in order to finally release something from the past. But the Seven of Wands is being on the correct spiritual path. Okay, You are successful. You are illuminated. And uh, this card represents knowing your core values and beliefs and and expressing them, not backing down. You know, if you come across obstacles and challenges or um, things that need to be released, you're finding that strength and it's based on spirituality. Okay, so now this spiritual strength, Nine of Wands, is really ringing true for me now. I'm not seeing it so much as a lost battle, um, but one that has empowered you um, in order to disconnect and go after the thing that makes you happy, most likely following your heart. There's a sense that you wanted to give up on it, but you didn't. Um, you were able to make it through that tower, the weight, and now that goal is, is being manifested. Your dreams are coming true. So, you know, there's a three of pentacles here and then a four of pentacles, which could mean an even more successful grounding, um, like in the John Holland deck, you know, that mountain that is unmovable. But the three swords closing off, don't close off from your masculine, don't is isolate yourself. Um, I know last week the masculine was going through a dark night of the soul and some of the feminines um, may have picked up on that energy and felt that it, there was a disconnect on some level and so their, their safety and security um, was called into question and this message from spirit is that you are safe right so I see empowerment um, you know that aggressive masculine energy you know is in the past and so you do feel empowered okay you have that strength in order to express yourself and not back down um, if there's a goal that you want, continue to move forward with it, especially since it's you know has to do with spirituality and your 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 growth. Um, so the five of wands, you had this in your past position. So this is overcoming challenges, obstacles, uh, but it's all a growth card. It's meant to make your light shine brighter. So here you are gaining that strength. You want that strength, and you will overcome those obstacles just as you did in the past, except for now, you, you know, you're not just moving forward with a dream that makes you happy and excited, it, you know, taking control, directing that energy towards it. Now you are empowered spiritually and you have spirit to guide you. So crown, or a lot of uh, chakra activations, we got the heart, the throat, and the crown. Okay, so crossroads position, which would be the near future. Wow, patience. 
Um, so this was the overall energy card for the Twin Flame reading. So this is, you know, um, the ultimate union card for Twin Flames. It's this, the souls winding together. She represents the S and the yin and yang. She's zero point balance, harmony in all areas of your life. So spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally. It also represents patience while that seed grows into the big flower there or the tree. Eight of Pentacles, two of Pentacles, and wow, the devil. So the Eight of Pentacles coming in the past position. This is showing all the work that you've done on manifesting your dreams into reality. Um, so the Ten of Pentacles was the final outcome for the feminine. There's a beautiful progression in terms of the work that you've done um, in the links in the card as well. Showed a progression to the Ten. So you are doing a lot of work spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally, and you're achieving balance. You have attained a great deal of abundance and wealth, which is empowering you even further. Um, so yes, I see strength here. And um, in the Twin Flame reading, the King of Pentacles showed up in your present position. So I wasn't reading that King of Pentacles as a masculine energy. I was reading it as the feminine empowered um who is independent who can look after themselves they don't need anybody else to to you know provide for them they are their their own um you know power <laughs> basically so a lot of grounding <clears throat> the two of pentacles present position near future this is balance, harmony. Um, the Two of Pentacles showed up twice on the masculine side. So there's a sense that there's a change occurring in the environment. Um, the reading was titled um, Big Change uh, for the Last Twin Flame. So there's a residual energy that's still being brought in. This tower was the big change. Movement forward was the big change. Healing was the big change. Empowerment was the big change so there now there is rest and still healing um, but there's a sense of communication and enlightenment is on its way um, so I, I I'm feeling a soothing calming um, you know balanced energy this represents balance so does this card so um, it's like you know after the, the big storm you know things start to settle um, so I see that the feminine was the calm within the storm, and she's bringing that balance, that that grounded energy, unwavering, like a tree. You cannot, you know, knock a tree over because it bends with the wind. It's resilient. The uh, devil card is in the future. Now this card showed up in the future position for the masculine. So it's also in your future position. So I think that both of you, the, you know, both the masculine and feminine energies will be presented with um, this attachment, this chain in the future. Um, so it could be linked to this Four of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Um, it all depends on how you handle it. Um, or it could be your own ego that is stopping you on some level. It's, you know, a trigger. So this is a chain, codependent relationship, an addiction. Um, self-limiting beliefs um, but it's something holding you back and this could be your crux as well you could be hiding behind this energy you know being the victim uh, but I don't see that in this reading at all I see empowerment I see balance um, I see you finding that strength to release yourself from that devil once and for all and as a matter of fact, I see enlightenment gained on a massive scale as a result of it. Okay, so what are you resisting? New, boo. Sorry about that. New beginnings, the full card. Um, so the masculine, in his reading, he had the full card. It seems he is ready to take a leap of faith. Um, so you are resisting that. Why? So this is like the beginning of the fool's journey. Uh, this is starting from zero. It is having no attachments, no um, expectations. It is a return to innocence. It's a childlike 
birth energy. Six of Pentacles. Wow, 11, 11, and three wands. So these are cards that you're resisting. Six of Pentacles represents sharing your life with somebody in the 3D. It's a cohabitation card. You're resisting this new beginning. You're resisting sharing your life. You're resisting sharing your energy. Um, or it could mean that you've attained so much abundance and stability in your life that you're not quite ready to share your life with anybody just yet. You want to enjoy your riches, um, you know, the fruits of your labor. So maybe that's why you're being closed off on some level. I don't know. However, be careful of that energy because the devil is in the future. So this is that chain, that link, right? So it's when you start to place a lot of importance on the material world that will lock you in to the machine once again. So this is sharing your life with somebody. Then present position, 1111, twin flame connection. You are resisting that. You're resisting taking a leap of faith. You're resisting trusting in destiny. So, you know, massive confirmation of a twin flame connection is in your environment, but you are resisting it. Maybe you don't believe anymore. You've been through the fire too much, and although you're awakened, you're balanced, maybe, you you know, there's been too many things, um, too many battles lost and, you know, too many barriers to the point where you're questioning whether or not it's real or whether or not you even want this connection anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's like I've been doing a lot of work to try to manifest this into my life. I cleared, I've purged, I've been through the dark night of the soul many times, I've released, I've felt the pain, I've cried and um, you know and it's like now you almost want to be like a it's almost like you found so much grounded confidence that you don't need it anymore. You don't need the twin flame connection anymore. If you are going to take that leap of faith, it's for towards your own higher good, towards your own destiny, towards you know being that channel um, for divine messages, you know and. Uh, so the Three of Wands is in the future position. So this is being on the right spiritual path. The Two of Wands is in the past position. So, you know, there, there's that waiting energy. So in the future position, you're going to get a thumbs up on some level, that it's time to move forward or time to take a chance or there may be signs or synchronicities. Wand is spirituality. Um, but if you take that opportunity... Um, then you will be on back on the right spiritual path or you will um, gain reward from it. This is, you know, starting to see the fruits of your labor. The ships are starting to return, but there's still more work to be had. So it feels like the wait is over and it's almost like you're like, eh, I don't know anymore. You know, I've, um, I've been through a lot of shit and I don't know if I want to feel that way anymore. Take a chance. Okay, so internal environment. Wow, good for you, ladies. Divine feminine. Yes, you are. You are empowered. You are free of attachments. You realize that you can manifest whatever your hearts desire. Um, you're feeling that unconditional love flowing through you. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, again, there's this sense of empowerment. Um, you know who you are. You don't feel the need to sacrifice anything anymore, but that energy can turn on you. So like I said, be careful about closing off. You want to stay open to receive and give love. There, you know, don't close yourself off to the connection because of fear. That's the devil talking to you. Cards, can you still see? Okay. Um, so your external environment, I'm not going to pull any further cards, but that's perfect. Okay, Nine of Wands. There we go. Spiritual strength. That's the card I was talking about. The Nine of Wands. The Buddha. Um, so 
someone in your environment empowering you um, or could also be the wounded warrior remember that the, the divine masculine got the nine of wands in his past position as well so um, I did find in the twin flame reading there's a sense of the two of you guys coming together to work on a shared goal but I'm not feeling that energy here um, I also sense that energy in the divine masculine reading as well but like I said I don't see that reaching out that coming together quite so much right now that's what the three of wands is also it's a, a partnership it's coming together for a shared goal okay so three cards strength card five of swords oh my god and the base chakra so these two cards keep on well, well I know they, they showed up in the divine masculine present position and I know they showed up again I think in a similar position uh, for the divine masculine reading so it showed up in the twin flame and the masculine reading so there's conflict there's negative energy five of swords was in his past position so this is definitely the masculine energy so he came into this power this you know um, internal strength uh, taming the beast within you know instead of using his external masculine power he used love kindness and compassion to to deal with the situation uh, so again wounded warrior energy however I see spiritual strength here so either way but again you know last week it, he turned in uh, embodied feminine energy and here we still have that embodiment and that you know um, feminine strength of love and he's using it to overcome the five of swords the five of swords was in his past position and I believe it showed up again in his present position I can't remember uh, for the masculine reading so it's that definite energy it's a feeling of being called out or no he brought that in oh I can't remember guys you're just gonna have to watch them all Okay, so this is conflict and defeat, being called out. Um, negative energy being directed at you. So you did this wrong, you did that wrong. So either, either you know, this is an energy in his environment, he doesn't want to argue anymore, he doesn't want to fight, he's walking away from it. Or he's feeling that energy from the feminine. You know, maybe he's afraid that he's going to be called out. You know, or... Um, or... I don't know. Uh, either way, it's an, an energy that is front and center um, that needs to be released. And he will. The base chakra, future position, this is safety, security, grounded energy. I know he, he also got the base chakra as well, but I can't remember what position. Okay, so what is the final outcome for these three cards here? success and victory awesome so there was a couple bumps in the road a couple challenges to overcome but ultimately you will succeed you will find your balance again so this is the rock star people are proud of you they see you as an example so it's triumphant success why do I keep looking over there nine of swords nine of pentacles and Ace of Swords. These two cards showed up in the Twin Flame Union. The Nine of Swords is coming in the past position. So you've overcome stress, guilt, fear, anxiety, nightmares, night terrors, inabilities to sleep. And that, again, reflected with the Tower and the Star card, you know, the Nine of Wands. You've been through hell and back, no doubt about it. You've overcome. The Nine means completion. And what happened as a result, what's going to happen as a result of that is your independence. This card shows up in your near future position as well. So this is arrival, ripeness. The fruit is ready to, to fall from the branches. It is abundance coming into your life. Now the final message from the universe reflected just that. Abundance is entering your life. You're going to be at the point where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor. And um, so this is going to find dining restaurants, you know, trips vacations, spas, whatever. You're going to be looking after yourself. You're putting yourself number one. And uh, so you're embarking on you know, this spiritual journey or you're continuing on the spiritual journey. You're feeling very grounded, very successful 
and Spirit is saying, yes, good job. Ace of Swords, future position. Um, you got this card, and I believe how you, what you're bringing to the... Oh, no, it was a foundation um, coupled with... I don't remember. But this is making a decision. Um, this is also success, uh, victory. It is... Um, being unwavering, being exposed and vulnerable, but it is having an idea, grounding that idea, and um, and you know, cutting away barriers, darkness. Um, yeah, it's success, success upon success upon success, victory, coming out of that darkened state. We got the nine and the ace, so that's ten. It's an ending. From that ending is a new beginning. So, summary, oh wow, Ace of Cups, again, very nice. Um, so it showed up multiple times in the readings. So the summary is that love begins. Now, this only, this cup, or that, <laughs> sorry about that. The Ace of Cups only shows up when you've let go of the past, and we see that with the tower. When you've healed your heart, we see that happening in the present and the recent past. Um, when you've you know, forgiven yourself and forgiven others. It doesn't seem that you have forgiven others. On some level, you're still releasing the devil. Um, so this card only shows up when you're ready to receive love and allow true love into your life. However, I'm not seeing that climatic moment just yet. So let's see what the confirmation cards are. Knight of Wands. Oh, wow. Divine Masculine. And the King of Wands, well, la-di-da, look at you guys. Um, so ultimately, that would be the Ace of Swords. It's cutting away the devil. You make a decision, and it frees you. And because of that decision, this comes rushing into your life. The Divine Masculine, full glory. Uh, the Knight of Wands is a movement forward. The ma Masculine got this on in his reading. So this is... An explosion of energy, passion, desire. So this is a masculine coming towards you. He's already started that movement. He's already moving towards this new beginning. So this is spiritually aligned. Um, here he is, this cup of love, pouring abundance of love on him. He's an open channel, receiving love and giving love. Um, so for some, there's a new beginning for the masculine. And the King of Wands, here we have the Queen of Wands, center position. Uh, so it is a twin flame connection. So this could also represent a fire sign. Um, but it is, this is a masculine, being a spiritual leader, empowered, um, center of the sun. So this you know, could also represent like a rebel, the leader of a revolution, or just unchained, empowered. Oh my God, I see so much masculine energy here is just insane so this is what you attract into your life if you're able to let that devil go for once and for all final outcome oh shut the front door wow this was a card for the heart centered energy for the twin flame reading i'm not going to pull any freaking more cards okay to go back to this though um to the heart chakra the heart chakra is the motor that drives the connection that awakens you to higher levels of consciousness okay it's seeing your twin sharing that same vibration sharing the same past experiences and having that deep soul loving connection opens you up to higher levels of consciousness so if you want that crown chakra activation if you want to continue on this spiritual path you cannot close yourself up okay no good don't do that very bad look at the bottom of the deck for the overall oh my god ace of wands overall energy new beginnings kundalini awakening so this is a brand new beginning um starting from zero and this is a spiritual path um it's kundalini awakening so you know the there's a awareness awakening and it again um awakens other chakras um so this is also the golden thread connecting you to source the crown chakra to source um so this is 
a new beginning that is spiritually aligned. And um, so it looks to me like the twin flame is going to, our twin flame union and beginning is going to happen for some um, final outcome in ACE as uh, the overall energy. Well, I mean, I can't read it any other way. So ladies, let that shit go once and for all. Cut it away. It is not worth it. Don't close yourself off. Don't resist this new beginning because it's coming towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card from Myths and Mermaids, and I will read that to you for a final message from the universe. Stop. Halcyon. Oh, wrong book. Number seven. I'm flying, I'm free, I'm out of the sea, enchanted with wings, what delivery this brings. Where once I felt sameness, displeasure, frustration, I'm now independent. What a grand transformation. Yeah. So for a lot of feminines, that's what I see in your reading is independence. Really coming into your own power. And because of that, you're drawing the masculine towards you. Your mirror reflection. An iridescent mermaid surrounds herself with a veritable rainbow of fluttering butterflies, dreaming that she too will one day gain the gift of flight. A transformation will bring freedom. You are on the brink of metamorphosis. Your life has become stagnant, but you have the tools to make positive changes, and now is the time to use them. You might face challenges along the way in the form of other people who are reluctant to accept your decisions or physical barriers that stand in your path, but be persistent. Visualize who you wish to become and do not give up until you reach your goals. Oh my God, that's exactly what I was saying. You know, embody that chariot once again, okay? Don't close yourself off because there's so much goodness on its way. You are free. You are free to have that new life, that new beginning. You are not chained. It is a belief, an illusion. Sorry if you can hear kids outside. There's a park there. So um, anyway, I hope this resonates. Love you guys. Peace.